In the crucible of an America embroiled within the flames of the Civil War, emerges an unlikely hero, Robert Smalls. Born into slavery's unyielding shackles, he sets out on a daring voyage, one that maps the labyrinth of his courage and determination. From the clutches of oppression, Smalls embarks on a nautical rebellion teetering on the brink of impossibility. His tale begins on a ship sailing through the roiling waters towards the nebulous silhouette of liberty. A tale stitched with fear, hope, and an unbroken spirit, it sends ripples of shock through the nation, forever etching his audacious escape onto the pages of American history. This is no ordinary man. This is Robert Smalls, a slave who morphed the fetters of his bondage into the keys to his emancipation. As we delve deeper into his life's tapestry, brace yourself for an epic odyssey that pirouettes from his humble beginnings to his meteoric rise, a defiance that sets him sailing through the uncertain terrains of freedom. In the torrid year of 1839, beneath the brooding bout of American slavery, the cry of a newborn echoes within the confines of an unassuming slave cabin in Beaufort, South Carolina. It is the voice of little Robert Smalls, an involuntary heir to the dreaded legacy of slavery. Life as a slave is a cruel testament to the absence of freedom. Welcomed into the world, not with a cradle of love and safety, but into the disembodied chains of servitude. Each day, identical to the last, comprises an exhausting continuous loop of relentless labor, offset by bare minimum sustenance. An insurmountable tide of crushing hardship and deplorable living conditions that would weaken even the stoutest of spirits. Amid the sweltering plantations and under the ruthless southern sun, a narrative of struggle begins, etching the first lines of an extraordinary life story on the canvas of adversity. Robert Smalls, a born slave, faces the hardships that such a dreaded life presents. Every dawn ushers in a new day of toil, each dusk sealing in the day's toll on his youthful vigor. In a world where humans are shackled like animals, Smalls is no exception. Chained in servitude, he is exposed to the cruel whip of bondage, cultivating his ripe years in the fields of incessant labor. Deplorable conditions mold his reality, as he grows in the manacles of servitude. Amid the tumultuous sea of enslavement, Smalls nurtures a secret rebellion within him. Every harsh command and brutal lashing forges this rebellion into resolve. His mind is a rich loam of dreams, maturing each day with the idea of liberation. Sheltered within the tough layers of his being resides an ardent hope, a hope that mirrors the struggle for freedom against the choking noose of servitude. As he ventures into the prime of his life, every fiber of his being yearns for one thing, freedom. A freedom not just from the physical confinement, but liberation from the endless nightmare called slavery. In the bleak terrain of slavery, there emerges a glimmer of hope and relief for Robert Smalls, a solace found in the profound depths of love. He enters into the sacred bond of marriage, a commitment not just to a woman he deeply cherishes, but to the purpose of creating a better future for their progeny. The joyous occasion finds its crown jewel with the birth of their two children, the radiant smiles on their innocent faces ruthlessly contrasting with the master's whip's scar trail. The persistent laughter of his children echoes as a symphony of freedom, inspiring him to dream bigger and dare beyond constraint confines. It instills a resilience unimaginable, a determination hitherto unknown, urging him to invest every breath into creating a world for his children where manacles exist only in history books. Their cherubic faces are his motivation, their unspoken determination, a testament to Robert's relentless desire for a free future. Enlisted into the Confederate fleet, Smalls finds himself aboard at the CSS Planter, a confederate transport ship. The deck under his feet, and the mast reaching towards the sky, the planter becomes his battlefield and his stage. Smalls, unlike many others born into the thralls of servitude, 
possesses an exceptional nautical intelligence and dexterous skill. A fast learner, he quickly familiarizes himself with the intricate workings of the ship. From the rigging dancing high up in the masts to the stolid iron heart within the bowels of the vessel, as he sweats and toils aboard the ship, navigating through precarious seaways and treacherous weather, his worth becomes apparent to the ship's crew. With each passing day, Smalls rises within their ranks, climbing from an overlooked deckhand to a respected and indispensable crew member. His invaluable insight and persevering spirit not only earn him a unique position aboard the CSS planter, but also sow deep within him the seeds of a daring escape plan. The seed of freedom, once a mercurial whisper in the heart of Robert Smalls, grows to dominate his every thought, every action, evolving into a daringly audacious escape plan. As the vessel's indispensable hand, Smalls undoubtedly knows the risks he is bracing for. Yet, his unwavering conviction, fueled by the promise of freedom, propels him into initiating his grand design. Each quiet hush of the night sees him poring over maps and charts of waterways and Confederate defenses. His heart beats, in tandem, with the lapping waves against the CSS planter's hull, mimicking a clandestine countdown to their liberation. The dread of exposure often results in heart-stopping moments, but also births a thrilling anticipation, the sweet allure of freedom just beyond their reach. Can they take it? As days blur into nights, the escape plan consumes Smalls, whetting his appetite for an audacious gambit that will either cost them everything or procure them their long-deserved freedom. Under the vast, haunted tapestry of the southern sky, a daring idea is born in the contemplative heart of our hero, Robert Smalls. In his eyes, the CSS planter represents not just a Confederate transport ship, but a pivotal instrument in his daring gamble for liberty, a veritable ship of dreams. His plan, defying belief and tempting fate, is to actually mastermind an audacious seizure of the vessel itself. As grand as it is daring, it involves impersonating Confederate officers, cunningly navigating past Southern defenses, and achieving an inconceivable escape to Union soil, thus erupting from the abyss of inhuman servitude into the dawn of freedom. The plan's audacity is truly astounding and veers dangerously close to being reckless, keeping him perpetually on a knife edge between assured execution and tantalizing freedom. His every action from this point stems from a precarious blend of determination, courage, and a singular resolve to be free. In the desperate fight for freedom, even the silence dared not betray Smalls. He begins to carefully decipher Confederate signals like a master craftsman decoding the enigma of servitude. His keen eyes pore over maps under the veil of night. His nimble fingers trace routes that could lead them to hope or ruin. Each stolen symbol etched in his memory becomes a deadly mark against his chains, each coded word an echo of defiance. The daring plan of escape, taking form under a cloak of secrecy, becomes more than a desperate ploy. It blossoms into tangible hope, a beacon in the dense fog of despair. This lone figure undertaking his audacious study in the stillness of the night becomes an emblem of undying spirit, the very embodiment of resistance. Each hour unfurls into another chapter of covert activity. Every unnoticed signal, slowly pieced together in the broken silence, weaves yet another layer of bravery onto this cloak of liberation. The epic backdrop of desperation and fierce determination rains down onto this feverish schema, setting the stage for one of the most audacious acts in the annals of resistance. A clandestine orchestration of freedom that hums with suspense and trepidation the escape plan pulsates with an infectious, palpable urgency, infecting cast and viewers alike. 
The tension in the air is palpable as the appointed hour arrives, a clock ticking in tune with the thudding of expectant hearts. The night, draped in its darkest robe, sets the stage for this dangerous gamble for freedom. The CSS planter, captained by a desperate crew, becomes an entity of stealth as it glides cautiously through the waters. The ship is a Confederate phantom, its whereabouts a mystery to those it is fleeing. Under the steady hand of Robert Smalls, it skirts the Confederate-controlled harbor, every ripple in the water telling a story of revolt and audacity. Smalls and his courageous crewmen, disguised as their enslavers, steely their resolve and bear the weight of their audacious ruse. Each passing moment a test of resilience as they inch persistently towards emancipation. The Confederate checkpoints loom in the dense fog like prehistoric beasts, their forms warped with menace and portending catastrophic failure if discovered. A hush descends onto Planter as it infiltrates enemy lines, each breath trapped within the hearts of its occupants, even as hope begins to sketch a tantalizing image of imminent liberation. The daring flight through Confederate-controlled waters would test the resolve of even the most seasoned mariner. But for Smalls and his brave crew, this perilous journey is a path to freedom. Each ebb of the tide, each hum of the planter's engine, becomes a testament to their unwavering determination. As they weave a dangerous dance with Confederate defenses, their ship a wraith in the dark waters, they are pitted against the piercing glare of Confederate searchlights. Time freezes as the ship is caught in the toxic bloom of light. But Robert Smalls is no ordinary man. His heart beats with the fierce rhythm of freedom, and in this heart-stopping instance, he charges headfirst into danger. Gritting his teeth, he infuses every ounce of his nautical skill into outwitting their pursuers. With a furtive twist of the wheel, he expertly veers the planter off course, brushing past detection by a hair's breadth. The searchlight's glare is left chasing shadows, while Smalls and his crew surge ahead toward the promise of liberty. This sequence resonates with the audacious spirit of Smalls, a man who would dare to steal a ship from under the Confederates' noses and plot a course through uncharted waters to freedom. A new dawn brushes the horizon as small steers the planter into the embrace of Union territories. Its imposing silhouette stands stark against the dawn, a spectre sailing into the fortress of freedom. A triumphant Robert Small stands tall on the deck, each confident stride echoing a victorious march. He surrenders the ship, a beacon of freedom snatched from under Confederate noses. His heart pounds in synchrony with the distant sea as he unveils Confederate secrets like long-buried treasures. The atmosphere is thick with suspense as the Union soldiers listen, their surprise mirrored in the early dawn waters. His voice, steady and firm, is a plea for asylum, a clarion call for sanctuary from the chains of servitude. As Smalls unveils his compelling tale, the Union officers exchange impressed glances. His display of intelligence and undaunted courage mark him as more than a mere fugitive, but a comrade in arms. The exhilaration and relief of freedom is palpable in the salt-laden air, the sweet tang of liberty touching each pair of parched lips on board the planter. Small steps back, his story told, eyes gleaming with hope, his soul singing hymns of liberty as he waits for their verdict. As they pass under the benevolent gaze of the Union fleet, the deck of CSS Planter transforms into a powerful tableau of jubilation. Robert Smalls, a man once crushed under a yoke of tormenting servitude, now stands tall, having shattered every shackle that bound him. The magnificent iridescent light of freedom cascades upon his resilient form as the raging applause from Union soldiers crash around him like a liberating tempest. Behind him, his crew, no longer faceless bodies laboring under whips of command, but brave souls who dared to reach out and grasp the flame of liberty. 
the radiant faces of his wife and children, gleaming brighter than the golden dawn approaching. The sweet taste of freedom rests upon their tongues, embossing their souls forever with its unforgettable flavor. Each laugh, each tear, every warm embrace surges with the intense euphoria of liberty so long yearned for. The monumental joy reverberates across the ship, rippling across the waters, permeating into every corner of the horizons, grazed by their triumphant eyes. The echoing words declaring them free adorn the cold metal sides of the CSS planter, reaching their ears as nothing short of a beautiful symphony. A symphony resonating powerfully with notes of bravery, triumph, and most of all, unbridled freedom. Upon the decks of freedom, unfettered by the manacles of servitude, Robert Smalls did not rest. The crucible of his courageous escape had forged in him an indomitable spirit, fueled by the taste of liberty. Drawn to the fires of struggle in a world still split asunder, Smalls willingly enlisted in the Union Army and Navy. Each battle he fought bore witness to his audacious strength and inspiring tenacity, his tale becoming a beacon amidst the fog of war. Smalls didn't merely survive seventeen major battles and skirmishes. He distinguished himself in them, harnessing his inherent flair for navigation and strategy. With each echo of cannon fire and each clash of iron on iron, Small's name was etched further into the annals of bravery. His military journey scaled the ranks, shattering the conventional bonds of race and former status. First a deckhand, then a pilot, Small's eventually ascended to the esteemed rank of captain. In this title, his significance resounded like a war horn through a still divided nation. A former slave had triumphed over the odds, rising on the wings of freedom to command those who once might have deemed him property. Each stride Smalls took was a testament to what could be achieved in the face of adversity, when courage refuses to yield in the face of oppression. His actions offered hope to others, a promise that from the depths of hardship and injustice, an individual, cloaked in strength and resilience, can rise to the highest echelons of honor and respect. From the turbulent battles of the Civil War to the taut political war rooms, Robert Smalls gravitated towards arenas where change was created and felt. His journey from the helm of a ship to the political stage was one of defiance, courage, and perpetual perseverance towards social justice and equality. As a beacon of hope, not just for African Americans, but for all who dared to dream of a world free from shackles, Smalls was no longer a mere spectator of his destiny. His life story took an incredible twist, which no one could have foreseen. Smalls stepped into the sphere of politics, with an unwavering resolve to uplift, inspire, and empower his brothers and sisters, who had known nothing but hardship. He did not merely want to be their voice, he wanted to be the embodiment of change. His political career blossomed as he represented South Carolina in the United States House of Representatives for five non-consecutive terms between 1875 and 1887. In every corner of every room, his voice boomed in defense of freedom and in the struggle for equality. The same mouth that once whispered of escape from servitude and now echoed loudly for justice and equal rights in the American political landscape. A visionary, Smalls never sheed away from speaking uncomfortable truths, nor from advocating relentlessly for African Americans' rights in South Carolina. He fought tirelessly for racial integration and took a bold stand against segregation, a silent rebellion, against the oppressive tides of racial segregation that threatened to toss and tumble his people's newfound freedom. Every bill he introduced, every debate he led, and every law he fought for was a testament to his undying spirit and commitment to equality. Even after his tenure in Congress ended, Smalls remained politically active in his home state. The battlefields may have changed, the adversaries may have differed, 
but the fighting spirit in Smalls never ceased. His steely determination and passionate advocacy saw him sail through the turbulent waters of political storms as a valiant vessel of hope. Today, his monumental political journey acts as a lighthouse, guiding future generations towards a horizon filled with the promise of equal rights, understanding, and peace. Freed from the chains that bound him, Robert Small stood with the tidal waves of possibility pulsating before him. His spirit, unbroken and unyielding, hungered not just for the priceless taste of freedom, but for a share of the prosperity his forced labor had long helped create. Thrusting his courageous heart into the world of business, he took control of his economic destiny, carving out an exceptional path of industry and independence. Smalls positioned himself as a leader, a beacon guiding his people into a formidable economic presence, demonstrating through his ventures that former slaves were not just freedmen, but free-thinking entrepreneurs. Meticulously, he invested in several businesses, both at sea and on land. A powerful chapter in his unique narrative was the purchase of the planter, the Confederate ship that had borne him to freedom. It must have been a surreal moment, the transformation of that vessel from an instrument of war into an emblem of liberation and opportunity. Every time he stood at its helm, he no doubt marveled at the poetic justice that coursed through its vein-like rigging. Later, Smalls would make a profound statement by buying the house of his former master in Beaufort. Standing from its porch, he knew he had truly transcended the seemingly insurmountable barrier of his humble beginnings. Each brick seemed to echo his triumphant journey from the squalor of a slave cabin to the grandeur of his very own mansion. The business life of Robert Smalls was not one characterized by extravagance or greed, but by a burning desire for security and progression. His investments weren't just about financial gain, but were a contribution towards creating an equitable society. Through his entrepreneurship and economic self-reliance, Smalls charted a blueprint to independence for all African Americans. The depth of Robert Smalls's impact extends beyond the battlefield and the fugitive journey that made him a symbol of courage. His efforts permeated the underpinning fundamentals of his society, striving to dismantle the system that once had bound him and his brethren in shackles. Through his pioneering legislative work, he instigated dramatic changes for African Americans across South Carolina. Prominent among them was compulsory public education a decisive move that acknowledged the power of knowledge as a vessel for emancipation, a vessel no less potent than the planter he once commandeered to his freedom. Smalls understood intrinsically that freedom is only as powerful as one's capacity to wield it, and education was, to him, the sharpest blade in this regard. He championed this cause, ensuring that every child in South Carolina regardless of race or previous condition of servitude, would be afforded the transformative tool of learning. With this single legislative act, he enabled the doors of opportunity to swing open, inviting untold masses through to a brighter future. Beyond this landmark achievement, Robert Smalls tirelessly flexed the sinewy resilience he had once shown at sea in the arena of civil rights. He contended with segregation and discrimination with a power that was reminiscent of his daring escape. At every turn, he fought against oppressive laws, and his triumphs, though hard won, were worth every drop of sweat and every moment of struggle. Indeed, his dedication propelled civic advancement for African Americans and bore testament to his enduring spirit's relentless pursuit of a world where the color of one's skin is no barrier to the horizon of one's dreams. Far from being a mere page in history, Robert Small's achievements built a legacy and crafted the blueprint, which many after him followed, testament indeed to the ceaseless echo of his monumental acts. 
Our story finds its sweep towards completion as we drift into the twilight of Robert Small's existence. Life pressed on, unabated as it tends to do. His incredible voyage, slipping steadily into the annals of history. Yet the latter part of his journey was no less commendable. Small served five terms in Congress, co-writing legislation that established the first public school system in South Carolina and fighting tirelessly for the right to vote for African Americans. While Congress held its own battles, Smalls proved himself once again a valiant warrior, his eloquence replacing the awe he once held, his arguments fueled by the same fire that had led him to emancipation. Back home in Beaufort, he manifested his longing for roots by purchasing his former master's house, a dwelling that had once borne witness to his servitude and restless dreams of freedom now stood as a testament to his indomitable spirit. He even momentarily extended kindness to his former master's wife, suffering from dementia, offering her shelter in the house in her last days. Smalls remained a beacon of hope. He was a monumental figure in his community, extending patronage to several causes and creating opportunities for others who, like him, dared to dream of a life beyond the chains that society had placed them in. Until his death in 1915, Smalls remained committed to advancing the rights of African Americans and nurturing the tree of liberty he had helped plant. He nurtured its bloom with powerful words in Congress, with acts of philanthropy in his hometown, and with unwavering dedication till his last breath. His stirring life exemplified an individual's unyielding fight for justice and equality, casting a long shadow over an America, etching its way towards a more inclusive tomorrow. The curtain falls, ending the epic tale of Robert Smalls, a man who swam against the relentless tides of destiny, emerging on the shores of liberation he once only dreamed of. From a slave to a captain, from forced servitude to Congress, his narrative stirs the very soul. And yet, his voyage doesn't end. Even beyond his mortal years, the story of Robert Smalls, a beacon of resilience and determination, enchants and enlightens the ignorant, inspires the despondent, and fires the imaginations of those yearning for freedom. He rose from the abysmal depths of slavery, and charted a path towards freedom not only for himself, but for countless others who followed in his wake. His daring escape ignited a spark of rebellion that resounded through America, shattering the chains of bondage that held his brethren captive. Yet, his journey was far from over. Post his escape, Smalls continued to be an instrument of change. As a soldier battling under the Union banner, as a politician advocating for civil rights, and as a businessman infusing hope among the oppressed, his life continues to resonate as a living testament to the indomitable human spirit. This former slave did not just break his chains, he shattered them, and used those shattered pieces to pave the way for others. Robert Smalls, a man who navigated uncharted territories, who fought giants both on sea and in Congress, who embraced freedom and fought fiercely to ensure it was a right bestowed upon all. His legacy refuses to be confined by time. It continues to reverberate across generations, reminding us all of the power of dreams, determination, and the human spirit in the quest for freedom. If you enjoyed this video and gained any value from it, please like this video as it really helps spread awareness of this great story. It really helps the channel as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great stories of amazing people and majestic lands. Thanks for watching.